What's up guys? Here's the Breaking a Sweat Lead Synth tutorial. Open up Massive. One oscillator set to a sine wave. The note we need to use is one note for now because we're going to resample it. Uh, as far as I know, there's no way of getting, there's no way to get this patch uh, purely in Massive um, unless you automate it like retardedly. Okay, so play an E zero. There, that's it. No, okay. You need to get a dimension expander on there. Dry wet up there, size pretty big. Parabolic shaper, dry wet all the way up, drive in the middle, and route it so that the insert one is right after filter one. Straight amp envelope, you can have a little bit of uh, an, attack, an attack if you want, doesn't matter. Um, mm, this has to go all the way up, and this has to be serial, this has to be mixed too. Make this a scream, cut off all the way up, resonance all the way up. That we're going to fine tune in a second, and then make this a high pass. So that we get rid of the bass sound, because we don't want, we don't want that sub yet. Uh, and I put the cutoff like there, resonance up. It doesn't need to be up, but it makes it more crisp, so that's, that's cool. Uh, and then the scream is what we, we need to fine tune because what I did I made a I made another operator saw wave. <coughs> if you want to tune instruments, I don't suggest using sine waves because according to some internet expert, um, you can't. It's hard for humans to tell the pitch of a sine wave compared to saw waves and squares. So I'm playing an E here, and then I just use the arrow keys to, <clears throat> the up and down arrow keys to tune it. That sounds right to me. So I just put in an E zero note. Made a new audio track, Apple Shift T or Command Shift T, whatever you want to call it. Click record, make this resampling. Click that. And press space, there you go. You can see that left right movement. Awesome. Then press, oh, whoops, new audio track is Apple T, not Apple Shift T. To make a new MIDI track, it's Apple Shift T. Click on that. All you need to do is drag that into the MIDI track, and then it makes it simpler automatically. Problem is now it's out of tune because we started with a E, so put it down four. Sick. Um. Velocity all the way up. I like to have a little bit of a glide. Less, like 10. Even less. Now it's all a case of getting the MIDI from here. <coughs> Which is in, in the description, but if you want to just learn it. These notes. Uh, you can pause the video if you want the notes. And the pitch bend is seriously the key. Uh, in Simpler, you can't change the pitch bend range, but in this, in the context of this riff, it's fine because you don't need anything more than that. But uh, if you want more, you use something like Contact or Sampler, I think. Just a vibrato that increases, and it's also synced. It goes to go there at the very most. That's about it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and give me more suggestions for tutorials. I can make whatever sound you want. Dope. Peace.